Hello. Can you hear me? Hi, Mister. How are you? Good. How are you, Eduardo? All right, man. But I have problems to to do the the, the homework, the, all the things that 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 we have to do. I haven't made anything. Okay. How can I connect to more? Hey, who, 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 to who I can call tomorrow to explain me how to work yes. Uh You can call me. Let's see. What time are you free, Eduardo? If you want to call you around 10. No. I'm, I, well, let's, let's, if you can call in the morning, I will give you somebody's number. If you can call in the afternoon, wait, wait. you can call me. Okay. Wait, let, 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 let. I have so I have they send me a message. I'm going to tell you where, where, where. So yes, you can contact them if you want to call in the morning. And if not, Here is. if you want to do Here it in the is. afternoon, I can do it too. Okay. Wait. If, if they answer me, the guy the the gun, okay. the guy that sent me, I'm going okay. to call him. Good. Very yeah, because good. Because I make let me see anyway. All right. I'm for the message. Okay, welcome back, everybody. How was your weekend? Uh, he, uh, okay, he, here is Mr. Here, Oscar Rodriguez. And he is the, the, the right. Uh, yes, he can uh, help you. The phone if you want to call in the morning, you can. He can help you. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good. Thanks. Good. Okay, welcome back, everybody. I hope you had a nice weekend. You look very energetic, like you reloaded your batteries. Did you? No? <laughs> More or less. Okay. All right. So, what's today's date? October 10. October? Monday, October 10. Uh, October 10th or 5th? 5th. 5th. Yes, October 5th. 5th. Yeah, 5th. Yes. Yeah, October 10 is going to be this coming Saturday. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. It's okay. Yeah, because you see the calendar say 10, 10 dash 5, so you said October 10 uh -huh. is 5th. Okay, anyways, uh, welcome back. Today is October 5th, uh, 2020. Do you guys remember the activities we did on Thursday? Oh, no. Remember? Do you remember the topics we covered? Topics? No, I don't. Okay, we we had um. Talking about future and about our plans for weekend. Good, very good. We were talking about the plans for the weekend, and for you to talk about plans you have to use future structures. So future continuous, simple future, future perfect, you name it. So yes, yeah, so we were talking about future plans. I will go, I will have visited, I will have eaten, I will have come back, different things. I will be helping, different things. Um, any questions about how to use structures in the future tense? No? no? Okay. So let's see if the plans that you shared on Thursday uh, took place. So right now we will practice with the simple past tense. So you will talk about the different things you did on the weekend. I went, I visited, I cooked, I bought and many others. So open the rooms and talk about your weekend.
pasar ahí? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. How was your weekend? Um, oh, uh, boring. <laughs> boring. You didn't do anything uh, <laughs> special, let's say? Mm, are you in your house? Only same house. Okay. Yes, same house. Okay. When do you finish the school year? In November. Okay. Do you have a specific date already? A specific what? Date? Sorry. Do do they do you have a specific date, date to finish? Um, in the university, uh, finish will finish in uh, November twenty six. Okay. I think. Um, in the school, uh, uh, I will finish in this December. Okay. December thirteen. Okay. All right. Because it's a it's a bilingual school. Yeah, bilingual school. Right. So they work with American schedule. Yes. Okay. Let me assign okay. you to one of the rooms. Okay, thank you. All right. What did you do? Uh, well, this weekend uh, I went to to my mother house. He was her birth, birth, her birth bed. So mm -hmm. we enjoyed like a, a really really little party mm -hmm. uh, because of the COVID. So we only take like like a, a little dinner with her. Like with mm -hmm. the whole protocols, so um, yes, that, that, that was, and, and then I, I just rest because mm -hmm. I was really tired. Two weeks ago, it was my birthday, so I went to the beach and I, I got like a badass but the uh, bad yeah, guy. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, but, I, but I get it, I get it. I, I, I know what you mean. We have a lot of, of, of people uh, with basic knowledge or, or, or any kind of knowledge, I think. And then in, our, in my case, I, 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 I can't judge to anyone because of his academical pre uh, preparation, her, their studies, but we can, we can know that in nowadays, I think. We can know that situation because we are on... Watch TV or... No, I, no. I, I saw the in, in next fleet uh, ah, okay. a movie. Which mm -hmm. movie? Which movie? Uh, it, it, it's a uh, uh, one hundred hours for loving us. Uh, similar. This oh. is. Uh -huh. I I want to recommend recommend you a good movie. Uh, its name is Wunjan Saxena. Okay. Yes. Okay. Please watch it. It's very, very good. What is this the name? Movie. What, what is what? Um, Gunjan Saxena. Uh, it is Gunjan with N at the end. Gunjan uh, uh, N. Saxena. Unjan Saxena, please uh, watch it. I remember uh, I saw the name, but it's, it's, it's read the name. It's, it's uh, about it's, a, a woman. 
it's uh, not common the the name of movie. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, but it is very good. Believe me, I let me recommend recommend another movie that I watch it a uh, some months uh, uh, a few months ago. Let me check. Uh, okay. How about you, Janira? What did you do on on the weekend? Well, I rest and I I cook for my family mm -hmm. and because my my brother was this this Sunday was my 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 brother birthday and we cook mm -hmm. for him and we eat a cake and because I was so tired I went to take a mas massage or massage I don't know how do you yeah, say massage. It? Yeah, massage yeah I went to take a massage and it was very very relaxing oh I would like to have a massage too yeah. <laughs> yeah, massages are really good, really, really good. Yeah, I know. They alleviate uh, different symptoms of your body. Yes, yes, it, it, I like to, to take massage. Sure, sure. It, it relaxes Frequently. your muscles, your body. Yes, because on weekend we accumulate a lot of stress. Yeah, it, it's, it's important to, to liberate. Exactly. That exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys finish okay. um, your conversation? And what about you, Regina? No, just me. I, I just have oh, to okay. say what, okay. what I did. Okay. Well, on Saturday, the way I did it. Oh, well, I just go to my boss houses because she was it was her her birthday and what she did a little party and on yesterday i went to supermarket to buy some things from my from my house and that's all that's all i i didn't go out to too many places because i don't feel comfortable at this time for the pandemic and i prefer to stay at home if right. I don't have to stay out, stay out. Mm. Good, good. Gallina soup. Okay. I I had a very uh, anxious to to eat that, but we we came to buy for for to to carry to carry to to home. Yeah. Not eat at the at the place. So you ordered, but you took it to your house. I took it to my house. Okay. Yeah. So when you go to a restaurant, they ask you for here or to go. Says so to go. go. To go. Yes, I buy. I buy it to go. Okay. Good. Good. They can off. They they also offer you a delivery service if you want. So I say delivery for here to go. So. No, not kind of restaurant because it's a very um, typical restaurant. It's a, oh, okay. In fact, it's in a, in one house. Okay. In a particular house, but the 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 miss the miss is live living here. He cooked a um, very famous. Is that in yes. Santana? Yeah, yes, in Santana. What part of Santana? It's in Colonia Santa Marina. Okay. No idea. All yes. right. Good. So maybe one day I'll go look for that place and taste that famous soup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> When you go, call me. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a call if, so you can give me the the address. Yes, and it's very, uh, very nice. And sometimes he 
cook um, uh, I'm not sure feed soup <laughs> yeah sopa de patas sopa de patas yeah. sopa de he doesn't have translation <laughs> yeah okay mondongo soup mondongo okay. Uh, okay. all right good All right, all right, welcome back. Any questions or comments on how to express ideas uh, in the past tense, past continuous, used to? Is everything clear? All right, so let's go to our next activity. Um, do you guys remember the differences between would rather and prefer? So you said in the chat, I would say, I would rather stay home. Yes. I would rather stay home. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the other form to say would rather prefer? I'd, 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 I prefer, I'd, I prefer, I'd prefer, I'd prefer to stay home. To stay home. Yeah, the same. Okay. Uh, let me see. I stay home, stay home, stay home. All right. So can you compare the two sentences? You said, I would rather stay home. I prefer to stay home. What is the difference in the message there? In the message? Are they the same? Yes, they are. Yeah. So the only thing is, if you say, I would rather, the form of the verb is base form. If you prefer and you, you use the word prefer, then you have to use the imperative form, which is the verb, but you need to include the preposition too. True. So I would rather stay home. I prefer to stay home. The message is exactly the same. The only difference is the structure that you use. With the first one, you use base form. With the second one, you use imperatives. Um, any questions or comments? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. when, yes. When, you, when you have two options, uh, when you use, I will prefer uh, the second verb, I check is not in infinitive. You, you, you write in simple form, example. I would rather, I would rather uh, stay at home. Okay. Or, no, sorry, no, I, I prefer, I would, I would prefer to stay at home. Okay. Or, or uh, go to the party. Okay. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't write to go to the party, to, to, to eliminate 
at the preposition to in the second verb. Okay. I would prefer stay home. Uh, stay at home uh, or or go to the go to the party. You don't you don't write to go to the party. Okay. Yeah, if you if you're using two verbs in the same sentence, uh, usually mm -hmm. the second one will be without the preposition too. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, understood. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sir. Anybody else? Any questions or comments? Here, I have Please a question. What? Yes. Uh, oh, sorry, first, Janita. Yeah, Julius. Oh, okay, Janita. Okay, I was working on the platform with, with this exercise, but I had the same problem with the uh, unit one when I was uh, using the platform. Uh, every every exercise was wrong. And in, the, right. in the structure, there was some mistakes uh, in the grammatic or, or, or I don't know. Yeah, the structures. Uh-huh. Yes. 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 Same uh, problem. Yeah, the platform has um, different observations. Sometimes they have spelling problems, grammatical problems. So they are aware of that situation. So yes, it's true, Janita. Yes. And, and what is the section that you mentioned, Janita? The one that would prefer and would prefer and, and rather uh, would rather. Okay, so let, let me check on the answers to see uh, what the problem might be. Okay, okay. Julius. Yes, I was working in the first section and I resolved this, this exercise. Okay. Maybe I will share on WhatsApp. Sure, sure, please do. Okay. Please do, thank you. Okay, and the, the question about the topic and what is this the 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 say the message is the same but what is the more polite for uh, uh would rather sounds more polite would rather sounds more polite prefer is more general uh, i i prefer pizza i prefer chicken i prefer comedy so if you want to sound like more more professional or more elegant i would recommend that you use uh, would rather. Would rather. Yes. Okay. But once again, in a real conversation, the two options are exactly uh, the same. They have exactly the same message. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Anybody else? Any other comments or questions? Mm -hmm. No? No. Okay. So now we go to a second conversation. Uh, this one is about how you can improve uh, different skills like reading skill, writing skill, speaking, listening, and so on. So if I ask you, how do you practice your listening at home? You say, well, I prefer to watch movies. Or you can say, I would rather listen to music. So you have the two options on how to express your likes or dislikes, because you can use it in a negative form. You can say, I would rather not say anything, or I prefer not to say anything. So they can be positive, they can be negatives, and they can also be in the question form. Now, let me show you this here. Share. Okay, can you see the document that I'm sharing now? Yes. yes. Okay, what's the name? Use of by Geron. plus Jeron and three uses. Okay, can somebody please read number one? Anybody? To say, uh -huh. to, say, to say how something can be done. Okay, G read the example please. You can improve your English by doing a lot of reading. Okay, good. Now, how can you improve your English using this particular structure? By doing, doing a, a, lot lot a, a lot of by. reading. Okay, doing a lot of reading. What are other forms to improve your English? 
I speak English by, by speaking. Speaking. By speaking. Okay. Listening. Listen to music. TV. Okay. By listening singing. to television. Listening to music. Very good. Okay. By watching. By watching movies. By watching movies. By speaking with native speakers. By writing mm -hmm. poems. By writing journals. I mean, di different things. Okay. I need another volunteer to read number two, please. Okay. Me. Yes, go ahead. To describe how something was done. Okay. I learned a lot of, of idioms watching TV. By watching TV, okay. By watching TV. Okay, do you guys remember the meaning of idioms? Yes. yes. Okay. So when you're talking about something, how something was done, you can perfectly use by plus gerund. Do you remember how you learned the basics of English? How did you learn the basics, the foundation of English? Uh, in my case, at least, uh, listening. Okay. So, Carlos says, I developed my listening skills by listening to music, by watching television. Okay. Now, can you, can you remember something else that you learned? And, and you want to share how you learn to do it? Do you remember how you learn to cook? By watching. By, by doing. watching. By, by doing. doing. By. by doing. And remember, the best learning is the one you learn by <clears throat> doing. Any aspect in life, driving, cooking, playing sports, the best learning is the one you learn by doing. By so doing. reading is important, watching is important, but the real learning comes when you actually do the action. All right, and another volunteer to read number three, please. So, uh, how, to describe how something, how something could be done. Okay, read the example, please. Yes. One way of becoming fluent is by talking a lot in class. Okay, good. So how something could be done. So as you can see, we have can be done, how something was done, how something could be done. So we got present, past, and then the future, if you want to uh, take it like that. Any questions about this? Our next exercise is related with this. Any questions or comments? No? Am I doing? No. Okay, no. so let me recreate. Recreate. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna move this person. Okay, out of room. Okay, move this here and move this here. Okay, so this is what you will do. You guys will be working in pairs and you and your friend will be sharing how you can improve the four macro skills. Do you remember the name of the four macro skills? Do you? No, I don't know. Okay, um, the four macro skills, four macro skills. Listening. Uh, yes. Uh-huh. Grammar. Reading. Listening. What comes after listening? Speaking. What is next? Reading. Uh-huh. And finally? Grammar. Writing. Grammar is a sub-skill. Let me explain why. If I tell you uh, my brother don't have money, do you understand the message? My brother don't have money. Yes. Okay. He doesn't. The message is clear, but grammatically speaking, it should be, my brother doesn't have money. Doesn't have money. So 
grammar is important, but it's not a macro skill because you can communicate even by breaking grammar, like the example that I just gave you. Or I can say, El Salvador is more small than Guatemala. Uh, do you understand the message? Yes. El Salvador yeah, is more small. But, 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 but grammatically but, uh, speaking, yeah. I should say, El Salvador is smaller yeah. than Guatemala. Smaller. So once again, grammar is important, but it's not considered one of the four macro skills. It's a sub skill. So anyways, so you will, you and your friend will talk and you will say, you can improve your speaking by speaking with someone that doesn't know any Spanish. You can, you can improve your listening skills by listening to music every day. And then you can say, I prefer music than television. I prefer reading than writing. I would rather write a poem then read a book. So different types. Okay, so are the instructions clear? Listening, seeking, reading, and writing. Yes. How you can improve the four macro skills the when you seeking can you uh -huh. explain seeking? Speaking. Maybe I spell I okay. Speaking. Uh, speaking. 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 Yeah, speaking. Yeah, speaking. Speaking, reading, writing. Yeah, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. The four macro skills. So when you give your answer, make sure that you apply, oh, you can improve your vocabulary by reading. You can improve your reading habits by reading out loud and different ones. Okay, um, are the instructions clear? Yes, yes teacher. All yes, right, teacher. let's do this. Mm -hmm. Herbert. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes, it's a well, it's not it too not so far, far yeah. but not. the traffic is terrible. That's why I have to go out from my house too earlier. And okay. I, it's tired for me. Really, really tired because I have to wake up at 4 30 at least yeah. every day from that Monday is... to Friday. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> yeah, well. well. Yeah. We have to work. <laughs> yeah, we have to work. So I agree. Yeah, I, I asked that because then the last Saturday I went to Las Arboledas mm -hmm. and I spent uh, maybe one hour and a half. Yeah, I know. If I go terrible, out terrible. Uh, more late from my house, I spend the time. That's why I, I, I have to go earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the traffic is terrible, but terrible. Yeah, we are poor. We don't. We don't. In, um, in, in another of course, oh, but, but, but of course, but just speaking, you don't learn nothing about grammar. But you you learn just to speak. Okay, and and. And with other skills, for example, um, to cook, to for um, to uh, uh, only 
I, I, English I, I prefer I prefer listening to the videos in in, in English. I uh, in English. Okay. The videos in movies, movies, in, uh, movies and, and and songs. Uh -huh. uh, I, because it is it's difficult to to find the 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 movies with the I I, I think there is a courtesy or or probably we we understand each other the 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 mistake that we made because is I think it's a little difficult to to, to speak in another another language and sometimes we made a mistake. We made a mistake. It's, it's clear. Okay. Did uh, did you did you um, read read or have you uh, read good books in English to improve your reading? No, I never have read written a, a, a book in English. You don't have time. Songs? No, I don't have time to, to read in English. How then? How you improve your your reading? Not yes, yes, it, it's important. But I, I, I don't have any any books in English. Okay. And there are let good me, books me, in let English. Let me get let me get one for you. <laughs> okay, but no, I don't have any any book in English. Okay, okay, I I have one. Somebody. I like it because um, they all speak different. So there's some people who is very good and when they are speaking and there's some others that speak kind of weird. And I like it because in real life, when you are dealing with people, uh, they, they not always speak correctly first. And also, they don't speak um, and in a way understandable. You know, sometimes it's hard to understand some people. And I think that's a very good way to, to learn and improve your English. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Now, how can you guys improve your grammar? That's a general question. How can you improve your grammar? Maybe reading a, a book yes. in English. Yeah, the best way to learn grammar is by reading. So people that read, you know that they, they express themselves better uh, than people that don't because they have more vocabulary, they are more familiar with the structures because when you read something, you see it, you see it, you see it, you internalize it. And when you internalize something, you use it in a very natural way. So reading is the best way to learn grammar. It's not a book, it's not a teacher, it's not a video, it's reading. Because when you read, you're exposing yourself but, directly to grammar. Yes. But teacher, um... I, th I think uh, reading it is it's good, but you cannot read like uh, everything because we use an example uh -huh. and uh, a minute ago, Julio say you, you cannot uh, learn, for example, a good Spanish if you are listening some kind of music. He used uh, an example for uh, Bad Bunny. Okay. Uh, the... the, the the grammar is not exactly correctly and stuff like that. Exactly. And even some books, the 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 the, the person who 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 was writing um, is not using the the exact form yes. to express I, the, the the thing that they want. I completely and agree so with you. In in those cases, I recommend. I I recommend like. Um, I don't know, uh, some specific things, like maybe, uh, I can remember. Like like magazines, uh, like National Geographic, newspaper. Magazine, ma yes. Article. 
yes. newspaper. Sorry, thank you. Yes, newspaper. Yes. When the the people who is writing, they review exactly what they do exactly. before they exactly. print it. Exactly. Yeah. So I should have said uh, when I said a book, you know, reading is not any reading, like you said, because okay, here is a comic book. Read it. You will improve your grammar. No. Comic books, they, they break grammar all the time. Mm -hmm. So when, when I meant reading, um, I meant newspaper, magazines, and good English, you know. So, but I agree with you. It's not any book. You have to be very careful when you read it and you explore the content of, of that particular book that you're reading. I agree with you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and, and, and like you said, you gave the, the Spanish example, like, okay, uh, you listen to Bad Bunny, that's not going to help you improve your, your grammar, your English grammar, I mean, your Spanish grammar. It will help you, your listening skills, but your grammar is going to be <laughs> not that good. Not good, uh-huh, exactly. Yep. All exactly. right, let's go back to the main sessions. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, so you were practicing, like uh, you can improve your speaking by talking with someone that doesn't speak Spanish. You can improve your listening by watching television, listening to music and so on. So how can you improve your pronunciation? Speaking. Speaking, right. That's the only, that's the only way how to improve your English and speaking speaking right speaking. so if you're talking about pronunciation speaking and yeah. then uh if you want to improve your pronunciation you should speaking listen well. and, and yeah. watch uh good uh television programs yeah you no know? uh so that is one what if you want to improve your grammar how will you improve your grammar uh, the only way to put by your grammar in so you are you are grammar in speaking or or, or, or in writing? Uh, it, it doesn't matter, written uh, or, or spoken. How do you improve your grammar? By reading. Reading. By writing. Reading. By writing. Reading. Now, reading. yeah, I mean, like there are different things yeah. you guys can do. We got four skills: listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So your grammar, when it comes to written grammar, you know, like people that read they they have more vocabulary they have more structures because they mm. read so reading is really really effective to improve your grammar okay if you want to improve your writing you should also do some reading and of course you have to do writing as well okay um any questions or comments about how to improve the four macro skills no no teacher Okay, so our last minutes of the class will be used for speaking. Uh, we will be talking about the greatest machine ever invented. What is that machine? The particle Aren't accelerator, <laughs> maybe. What is it? <laughs> the particle accelerator. Your, your particle accelerator. <laughs> okay. I don't know. All right, so the topic is. Let me see it. Let me see it. Can you see the questions? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be talking about your body. Your body. Let me send you the questions to the WhatsApp chat. Eight to nine. Okay. So let me do this. And room six, room four. All right, so here we go. Answer those questions.
picture to, to uh, teacher, to the, the, the yes. sentence. Uh, okay. We the need questions? The question. Yeah. The, we, we need we need to talk about the sentences, but I, I I don't have the sentences. Okay, give me a second. I'll give them to you right now. I sleep it when you <laughs> Oh don't 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 worry. <laughs> um <laughs> I'm sincere. I'm tired. Okay, can you see the questions now? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so you can take a picture with your cell phone or a screenshot? My, my cell phone. I have a my cell phone. Okay. 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 I return to the... Okay, the chair. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Uh, it's very important uh, keep the, the body uh, uh, working well. Yes. Okay. Maybe we, we need a balance with, with that exercise and a diet. Because if you... If you practice a lot of exercise or, or in a sport, but if you don't have a, a good diet, maybe we maybe you don't have a, a, a good body. Yes, but <clears throat> if you do enough exercise. Exercise, not always too bad, some days. Okay, <laughs> or, and you? You, can, you can practice uh, some some sport yeah do you practice some sport i i some practice the, the soccer ah really do you play yeah. yes. yes well i try to what practice about you? Maybe. actually i don't do any exercise but sometimes i go running but oh, it's okay. not frequently of, of of my life but i try to do it Hundred uh, ten years uh, or one hundred fifteen years, no, no more than this age. But um, I, I think we don't take care uh, our body, and and we don't know the 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 perfect that we are. Uh, or our ba body is, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And after that, you 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 need to think about the, our uh, environment. For example, the pollution. Uh, yes. Uh, the quality of our food. Uh, maybe yes. the, the the people uh, for a different uh, times. Yes. They don't have, for example. Uh, look after. What do you do to after to your body? Well, I, I do take care, like take care. Yes, take care. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I do, I try to eat uh, healthy. healthy. Yes, because in my church, uh, they te teach us that our body is a temple yep. and is the house of God. And we have to take care about our body, and we don't have to eat or drink anything that can damage our body. For example, I don't drink coffee. coffee. I, don't drink, I don't drink soda. I don't eat a lot of meat. I try to eat healthy because um, the the Bible says that. If we destroy the temple of God, God is going to destroy us. What religion do you profess, Janita? Mormon. I'm a member of the, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Oh, Mormones. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. My mother used to tell me the same thing. You know, she was like giving us advice. 
And whenever she talk about alcohol, and she says, and remember that you, your body is the temple of God, and you're not supposed to be drinking any alcoholic drinks. And and we were like just listening to her. Yes. It's true. Okay, but, thank um, you, mom. Uh, <laughs> right, right. So yeah, yeah. The, uh, you know, like uh, when the person is 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 uh, disciplined, you know, like it, it's hard because being discipline is is not an easy thing especially with all the temptations all the food all the drinks and everything yes but it it will make make it a habit after it, then it's difficult for you exactly. for example for me bring coffee i don't i don't miss in coffee because i grow up uh, not taking not drinking coffee okay and for me for me it's not difficult so that's why you don't need it. No, I don't mm -hmm. need it. Okay. Exactly. In, in my case, I, I need coffee. You know, I drink like twice a day, the most, but I need my morning coffee. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Good, good. That's good. Yes. But I don't even in Spanish say what, 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 what to say. Which, is, which number are you doing? Number, number explain, explain to us because we are which number? In Spanish seven. Number seven. Uh, which what three adjectives do you use to describe the human body? ¿Qué tres yeah. adjetivos yeah. ocuparía para describir el cuerpo humano? Yeah, yeah, I know. Even even in Spanish, I don't know. Elegant, beautiful, perfect, uh, impressive. Oh. So strong. <laughs> yeah, strong, beauty, you know. Fat, fat. Beauty. Yeah. Uh -huh. Overweight. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, pues, okay. He don't have uh, a problem with, with her health. But, for example, in, in this time, uh, your food is, is or has a, a lot of. Preservantes, preservatives, preservatives, components. And, and yes, the, the food and, have chemical. Yes, the, yes. The very there are uh, many uh, instant food or or uh, junk food, junk food, junk food, and before uh, or or parents or or grandpas uh, made uh, all natural food and now mm -hmm. uh, the old food is uh, instant and has the uh, preservant and chemical yeah yes. and and this very and, and this food healthy food is very expensive for example if you compare uh, two pupusas with a uh, a good sandwich with with a uh, bocado and, and atun and and healthy food. Uh, it, <laughs> it's very expensive to compare with two pupusas, for example. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Healthy food is expensive in El Salvador. Yes. Yes. Yes, for example, if you buy a a slice of pizza, it's, it's cheap. Yeah. But if but if you want to eat a fish or or um or um beef. A chicken feel uh, yes beef is a good ooh, beef. the beef is very expensive. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Six seven dollars a pound. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, and you you can obtain twelve a slice of pizza with a five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Little Caesar. Yeah, three yes. or three or four people can eat with five dollars. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Everybody. Mm, okay. Uh, and and bodybuilders, I don't understand very well the. The words. But bodybuilding, bodybuilding means 
a physical culturismo. Bodybuilder uh -huh. is, is the uh -huh. person. So the first one is the discipline. The second one, they're making reference to the people. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay so the first one was very building. I mean, it's only that I will I would like to change. Okay. No, the fourth one. Do you think the naked body is beautiful? The naked body is beautiful. Well, I think I think I think it is it is beautiful because is the is the way that that God created us. Um, I don't know. How, for example, for me, it's difficult see my naked body. Because I I am not not acostumbrada. I don't know used to? Is. I'm not used to. I am not used to to see that, but but I think a naked body is is like God may create us at the beginning, and is is the perfect form that He created us. Yep. Okay. And what about Pepper? What do you think? Um, I think most of the time it's beautiful. Yes. The, oh, uh, there is the different uh, situations that uh, happens and, and I think probably uh, exists life in another another planet for me is is okay yeah could be possible okay let me see uh what three adjectives would you use to describe the human body um let me think uh, functional yes you're right it's functional uh, complicated complicated Yes. Complicated in every way. Um, uh, useful. <laughs> yeah, sophisticated. <laughs> sophisticated. sophisticated. Yeah. There is not yes. any machine like the human body. Exactly. Yes. You're right. Sophisticated. I like that Sophistic word. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, all right. Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So if there are no questions, no comments. Yes, uh, Alma Brisa? We, we, okay. <laughs> all right. So thank you very much for making the space. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye.